Yo, what is going on guys? Mel Knight here and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys to the first episode of a long-awaited series guys We're back at it again with the how to HCF series guys on the Viper MC network here on the infernal realm guys I am currently a couple of days um, a bit late to SOTW Well, not necessarily guys, but if I go ahead and F who Mel Knight right now You guys can see that I am on a whole separate account and we are currently recording the series on the living in an ant farm series Basically guys, I'm currently here on a all about two days late to SOTW and I decided that I wanted to do a howdy HCF series Basically teaching you guys the basics of HCF because a lot of you guys apparently wanted it And it's a lot better to do it right now because we we're late to SOTW So nothing in that SOTW concept will affect our experience So we won't be getting keyalls or anything. This is gonna be like the most simplest form of howdy HCF Well boys, that is enough explaining for the intro for the first episode to the series. Let's try to go for the like goal of 100 likes we're gonna be starting very small so if we can hit that like goal that would be honestly phenomenal if you guys are new around here and new to hcf and are gonna find this very helpful to you guys make sure to go ahead and subscribe and make sure to answer the question of the day of what should i basically invest my time in in this week's series let me know in the comments down below basically do you guys want to see me run to bases trap show you guys the fundamentals of freaking farming literally anything guys this is a series for you because apparently a lot of you guys wanted to see me do this again so why not and lastly Make sure to use code Mel and I because that would be muchly appreciated. But other than that, guys, let's get straight into today's episode. Basically, guys, I just logged onto the server. Let me go and play time myself. I have three minutes on the server. The first thing you want to do if you literally have no rank and you just have the fishing rod and the 10 stake in the Welcome to Infernal book. Honestly, this doesn't have anything in it, so you can go ahead and just throw that away. The first thing you want to do if you don't have a rank is do slash vote. Because if you actually vote for the server, guys, you're able to get some vote keys. And through the vote keys, you're actually able to get some OP goodies such as diamond armor, some other keys such as spring keys. That is actually really good because that actually gives you access to god armor. So I'm going to go ahead and do my vote keys right now and I'll bring you guys back. Also, this should be an option on many HCF servers, but if you go ahead and do slash G kit or slash kit, you're able to access a menu where you actually have a bunch of kits. And as you guys can see, we do not have any of the kits because we are not a donator on the server, but we have something called a starter kit. And it looks like there's a bunch of people right here. But yeah, let me go ahead and do the starter kit. And guys, we get a lot of brewing materials we get some wood and we also get an e4 pickaxe that is going to help us in the long run so yeah i just want to let you guys know that is actually an option and you guys get that every six hours i'm pretty sure or every 64 or not 64 but every 24 if i'm not incorrect it looks to be every 24 hours we just approach the claims guys and oh my god no way is this actually our luck right now no 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 slash f claim and let me go ahead no way guys wait did he actually claim it yet come on and oh my god, we actually just secured part of it. Wait, no way. Wait. No way, guys. Okay, can we get the rest of this over here? Oh my god. Wait a minute, guys. Oh my... No way. No, I just don't believe it. I don't believe it for a second. Holy crap. What the hell, guys? We just got this claim. 1,000 out, 245. It looks like someone just abandoned their claim. Oh my god. This couldn't be any more perfect for, you, for our... This literally couldn't have been any more perfect for us, guys. Okay, we can go ahead and do slash F map right now. We literally beat this guy to it. And it looks like we got this little weird part over here. So we're going to slash F unclaim and slash F claim again right here. And go ahead and actually make our claim a bit bigger. But no way, guys. We actually just secured this claim. That is crazy. I did not expect that. And it looks like the other guy actually just missed out upon, actually missed out on this opportunity because he was looting the chest. But yeah, let me go ahead and slash f unclaim again and just make this as best as i can because it looks like the other guy actually ran away or actually slash f unclaim okay there we go let me go ahead and just make this one claim because it's a lot cheaper guys because extensions on viper or on any hcf server actually are so much more expensive so i would recommend only getting extensions if you really need to but yeah let me go ahead and do this and boom okay wait do i not have the money oh we actually don't have the money okay we got to go ahead and go a bit over here and wow we actually can't get that that's kind of crazy okay can we get this okay i guess we can get this guys this should be perfectly fine for us we just got a 39 by 48 and that is basically all of our money on the server and we just got this godly claim guys it already has a base set up for us and if i go ahead and actually go down right now we have starting time so we cannot die to fall damage it looks like an i make drop down is already established and okay wow this is a very toxic drop down to say the least but yeah i don't exactly know what this base is and oh my god 
They actually have some chests set up for us. Oh, wow. Wait. No way, bro. We just hit the jackpot. I swear to God, this is not scripted, guys. This is just the luck of our draw. This can literally happen to anybody, guys. So, if you guys ever start late on HCF, I would literally recommend you literally just going around, searching for raidable bases that could possibly be unclaimed. And, oh my God, this base is literally loaded upon some resources we base our series upon. We have 24 hoppers. We literally have P2, or not P2, but Sharp 2 swords. Let me go and check these chests over here. But it looks like majority of it actually is looted, and we actually have a miner shovel almost a full decked out pick oh my god guys this is literally perfect for us so i would literally recommend you guys doing anything in your power to try to find a base that might be raidable and just unclaimed because they just want to give up on the map because that is literally what we found in today's episode and this just sets us up so much perfectly for today's episode so yeah this is literally amazing guys but anyways now that we have our claim we can go ahead and actually get ourselves set up and the first thing i want to go ahead and do right now is go ahead and actually to set up some chests right now guys and obviously we have to make a crafting table because we do not have a rank on the server but yeah guys it might be a bit weird to make chests because obviously we have chests over here but the reason why we're doing this right now is just so we can secure some of our other stuff in here because we still don't know where the holes are to the base obviously because it was raidable and everything so we're gonna go ahead and take a deep look through the chest and just basically gather anything we can use in our power and i'll bring you guys back also on viper if you guys are late to sotw you're given something called a starter timer for over an hour or not over an hour but just for an hour guys and this basically makes you immune to anything and you can enter your claim no matter if you guys are outside of it or inside of it but if you have something called pvp timer you're actually not able to do that so this is only a thing if you guys are brand new to the server haven't logged on on sctw so yeah this is a perfect thing for us guys so i went through the chest and noticed that there was actually a lot of cobblestone blocks so what we're gonna go ahead and do right now is we're gonna go ahead and just fill up all the holes just so no one can get into our base once our starting timer is over because if they actually do end up getting into our base that is a big no-no for us guys and something i'm going to be expecting in this week's series is that we're going to be getting glitched on a lot because we're on an alt account and when i did my undercover random series when i was doing the trapping series commonly used a lot of people ended up glitching out of our base and obviously because they did they ended up getting banned so yeah this should be a very cool experience but we're gonna go ahead and just patch up all the holes and i'll bring you guys back I'll give you guys another update clip i actually I got all the resources I need for my base. I have a decent amount of cobblestone as well as I got uh, about a row and a half or almost two rows of sand as well as a couple of stacks of wood which should be good enough for the time being. Obviously if you guys don't have a preset base or not a preset but basically a base you find in wilderness uh, you guys probably need more wood so I would recommend getting at least uh, half an inventory or that might be a bit overkill. It just depends on how big your faction is and how big your claim is but typically guys if you want an autobur, a paw storage room, an armor storage room, an uh, item storage room you usually want a half of half an inventory of logs but this should be a decent amount for us right now and now that we have all the resources we need for the base we're gonna go ahead and smelt out the glass and go ahead and get the sand into glass and actually start on the base so i'll bring you guys back once i am basically ready to build the base all right so i did like a good analysis of my base to see if everything is basically ready i went ahead and actually added stone walls and yes guys stone walls work perfectly fine just like uh fence gates i'm pretty sure yeah fence gates even work guys literally anything that's like a half block that people can fall into and i recommend not putting glass over it because you can actually plural through glass without any trouble it's something with minecraft physics that i don't really understand but anyways guys the way you basically make a chest room like this is that you have to craft something called a trap chest alongside a chest you guys probably know how to make a chest the chest is just crafted like this and to basically make a, a trap chest you have to get some uh, tripwire hooks by basically crafting a tripwire that's just putting iron on the top some uh, sticks and then some wood and basically putting the chest right next to the sticks or not to the sticks but the tripwire hooks sorry guys i'm just really tired right now but yeah anyways that's basically what you do and you just basically place a chest like this like a double dub or just like a single dub and you place the other chest as like a pattern guys and that allows you to basically place chests right next to each other while, right next to each other without any interference i know in the newer versions of minecraft you can basically do it without doing that but this is the way you do it on 1.8 but yeah, guys, before we actually end off today's episode, I want to do a bit of a rundown in order to basically show you guys how to get set up on HCF that I didn't do in this video. But one thing
thing you have to do in order to get set up is you have to go mining. That is something I will do off camera because if you don't actually mine, you won't be able to get vowels in order to buy farming materials such as blaze rods, uh, melon seeds, nether wart, and basically everything you need. And another thing you want to do that I don't have set up in my base right now is you want to set up farms such as melon farms, sugarcane farms, nether wart farms that I will do by the next episode, guys. I just want to include in today's episode because it's pretty simple and I want to go ahead and just state this perfectly and I want to state this before anything guys if you guys have any questions like literally any questions by HCF even if you guys are experienced or new just let me know in the comments down below because I have over six years of experience on HCF and I can literally answer any of your questions so let me know because I read every single one of my comments that's just something I do on my channel so just let me know guys and another thing you want in order to basically establish your chest rooms is you want hoppers I'm pretty sure I crafted some in here let me go ahead and find it yeah over here we crafted some hoppers guys and what hoppers allows you to do is make like an item storage room or not an item storage but armor storage and a pod storage room you guys probably see that in my other videos if you guys have already watched those but yeah that basically allows you to uh sort your items out and basically move it down and those are currently here or actually no someone actually took them all but yeah usually you would typically have them behind like uh your auto burn stuff and i could show you guys how to make an auto burn and all but honestly guys there's so many tutorials on youtube that there's really no point for me to make an auto burn tutorial but yeah it's pretty simple and you guys might be a bit like kind of complex by it at first but trust me guys building an auto burn is very simple on acf and literally takes no skill at all but anyways guys i think this is a great stopping point for the first episode of the howdy acf series i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's a bit different than typ typically what i do guys i'm trying to switch it up a bit and trying to make it more like like chill and mellow rather than like the more enthusiastic videos I do this video or this series I don't really know when this is gonna be uploaded guys this should be uploaded sometime in the near future but anyways to future me uh, you should probably try to more stay more consistent that's just something I want to keep as a mindset but yeah guys anyways let's try to go for a hundred likes if you guys made it this far into the video make sure to go ahead and subscribe make sure to use code Melanite and make sure to answer the question of the day and let me know any questions you guys have but other than that guys that's basically it for the first episode and I'll see you guys in the second episode of the howdy hcf series adios also one more thing guys before we end off the video if you guys need any more help i have so many howdy hcf series on my channel so make sure to go ahead and check them out i have some duo series i have some solo series on separate servers just make sure to go ahead and check it out if you guys any if you guys need any more help yeah just make sure to go ahead and check it out